Hey, what's up, guys? Logan 75 and in today's Star Wars Battlefront video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about vehicles that are going to be used in Star Wars Battlefront. Now, I'm going to be exclusively talking about Rebel Alliance vehicles in this video, so if you want to hear about the Imperial vehicles, stay tuned for a later vi video about those vehicles, and be sure to tell me about any vehicles I missed in this video down in the comments below as I'm going off gameplay videos and trailers that have been released in the past few months. Now, I'm going to be starting off this video talking about the Land Speeder bike. Now, of course, I know this is not a Rebel Lines vehicle nor an Imperial vehicle, so I just decided to put in this video since it has no affiliation with any side. And it's, here it is used in the Battlefront reveal trailer, which was dropped a few months ago back in E3. So there it is at the Battle of Endor, super fast, super cool. Next vehicle is the X-Wing Starfighter, which is the most common vehicle for the Rebel Lines as far as space combat or dogfighting goes. I'm going to show you guys a little bit what it looks like in game. This was from the Fighter Squadron gameplay trailer that dropped a few months ago as well. As you can see, with some dog fighting maneuvers and such and such, taking out TIE fighters left and right. The next vehicle is going to be the A-Wing fighter. Now, the A-Wing fighter is the fastest vehicle that we're going to have as far as the Rebel Alliance goes. It matches the TIE Interceptor, which I will talk about in a later video. I'm not talking about Imperial vehicles. It matches the TIE Interceptor in speed, so it's going to be really fast. I guess you can say that. And it's also a little bit weaker as far as armor goes because is speed but it also comes with an abundance of weapons such as blasters and rockets that lock on so yeah super cool now I'm gonna show you guys right now probably one of the most memorable moments that ever involved an A-wing fighter from Star Wars episode 6 It's a really cool moment from a really cool movie. We're looking into the next vehicle here, which is the air speeder, known to everybody as the snow speeder, because it was mostly used on the ice planet of Hoth during the Battle of Hoth feature in Star Wars Episode 5. Now, of course, here is the gameplay for a snow speeder as shown in the Walker Assault game mode trailer that was dropped also a few months ago. I believe this was dropped at E3 as well, or sometime during the E3 week. Now, of course, this snow speeder has two things that everybody knows about and that is the harpoon and the tow cable the harpoon and the tow cable most of you used to take down the at at walkers as seen in this video i believe they did it in this video i'm pretty sure they did so this here comes right here yeah there it is attached cable just like they did in the movies so the snow speeder has a two person capacity i'm not sure if it supports two people in the game but i'm pretty sure we'll find that out at some later date but for right now i'm gonna say that it has two people. Now the next vehicle is for the hero fighting and that is the ever so grateful Millennium Falcon piloted by Han Solo once owned by Lando Calrissian as we all know he lost it in a bet to Han Solo. Now Han Solo is the captain of this wonderful vessel along with the great Wookiee Chewbacca. Now this is going to be it for this video. Be sure to leave a comment down below. Which of these vehicles are you most excited to pilot? Did I miss any vehicles? Be sure to tell me that because I really, really would like you guys to tell me if I miss any vehicles. Because I want to bring the best content for you guys. So until next time, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos in the near future. See you guys later.